Hello and welcome my Virgo Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs and cross watchers. Welcome to our timeless work, career and vocation reading. I am your reader, Mark Angela Lyons, fellow Virgo, Mal for short, they're my initials. I'm a professional witch, professional intuitive, the president of Drawing the Circle Productions since 1998, author of two different books with a third one on the way. The first book is called Spell Ingredients from a Professional Witch, Witch. The second one, Mercury Retrograde. The second one is called Words of Grace from a Professional Witch. There was a Kindle version available of Words of Grace and a link in the description box that you can click to preview a good chunk of the first part of it for free, including the table of contents, where you will see that the book is mostly divided into chakra chapters or chakras in the reading you might find it of use uh, the original version of words of grace as well as the only place to find spell ingredients is over on patreon.com slash drawing the circle in our digital shop we've got audios we've got videos we've got ebooks uh, all of the audios and videos have free previews now which is really cool some of my subscribers get those ebooks audios and videos as part of their uh, benefit package as a subscriber but all of them regardless of level of subscription get three benefits in common a daily check-in when I send them an unlisted YouTube live stream like pretty much every single morning did one this morning it was lovely where we chat about the day's astrological weather the magical applications the spiritual implications of said astrological weather always ending with a spiritual practice a prayer a blessing something to send us on our way best way for me to start the day considering what my work career and vocation entails in any given day they also get all the extended readings the part two to the part ones. All of my extended readings are timeless and relationship stuff based. I think that covers a lot of relationship stuff as well as they get a significant discount when they book me for private sessions, spiritual counseling and readings and all that. We'll talk about that at the end of the video, which I believe is that way. Uh, and I love it. You can follow us for free. I love my free followers. Thank you, free followers. Because uh, I put out uh, public content just for them and nowhere else most of the time. Sometimes I share it on Facebook and Twitter and whatever, or X, whatever it's called now. Uh, and uh, you can even seven day free trial us as a seeker or a human. Our first two levels of subscription, and I love it. I love my Patreon. They keep giving us cool stuff to do. So if you feel so drawn, if you feel so called, really just check out the shop, the free previews are fun. Click the link and come to Patreon on Patreon. Because I'm the Archangel of Lions, Mark Angelo Lions. Yeah, but you can just call me now. Because I don't take myself too seriously. Because that's called an ego trap. <laughs> yeah. So, welcome. I'm in my new home, in my new studio temple here. So I can close a door on it instead of it being in my dining room, which is kind of nice. Uh, and uh, let's get some uh, explanation uh, out of the way for the new Virgos and cross watchers, and we'll get into the divination. So this is technically what's called a three levels of power reading. There is a video in a video link in the description box, a YouTube video uh, called uh, the three levels of power by Caroline Mace, M-Y-S-S. -S. She's a PhD. These are her archetype cards. Her work has been incredibly healing and transforming for me over the past, what, 30 years? Sacred Contracts, Anatomy of the Spirit, Entering the Castle, Defy Gravity, all of it has been very, very helpful. And you will see if you watch that video, it's a three-parter, but I only put the first part down there, that it is an archetypal lens of looking at something rather large, like in this case, our life purpose, and breaking it into three different levels, work, career, and vocation, how you survive, how you create, and your spiritual calling. We're going to get 11 cards on the table, three Caroline Mace archetype cards for what's going on in the eighth chakra. I learned about the eighth chakra a long time ago, uh, reading a Mace's uh, book, Anatomy of the Spirit, because the archetypes, that's the home of the archetypes, uh, it's like a satellite that sends down the codes to all the other chakras, shifting what we attract and what we repel, whether we are aware of it or not. So we have the opportunity to no longer delay what can not eventually be prevented. You'll keep reincarnating, it's fine, you know, if that's your choice. We all have free will in the game. Uh, but so that we can do what we came here to do, fulfill our sacred contracts, fulfill our life purposes. And it's just easier to see it in these three levels of power most of the time. So we'll get three of those one for work, one for career, one for vocation, and we'll get three Daughters of the Moon Tarot for the next four chakras down. Daughters of the Moon Tarot, a feminist goddess deck. 
of tarot for the internal, the internal, the feminine energy, the goddess energy, whatever you want to call that. We will get three mythic tarot for the lower three chakras, the masculine yang dynamic, looking at ourselves from the outside and or uh, us looking from the inside out at people, places, and things, relationships in the world, including like who we want to be in the physical world. Those are really important. Uh, then we will get one Whispers of Lord Ganesha by Angela Hartfield, uh, Lord Ganesh, the elephant Hindu headed, sorry, the Hindu elephant, <laughs> strike that, reverse that little Willy Wonka for you there, uh, the Hindu elephant headed god of success, prosperity, which is good for work, career, vocation, but also remover of obstacles, and there are three atoms in between lead and gold on the periodic table, and that's my language of spiritual alchemy. These cards are amazing. I love them. And we will end uh, with a Matt Kahn healing mantra, because this is about healing, right? Healing our relationships with money, but, you know, sometimes these aren't so very cut and dry, these readings. There can be relationships, because we have relationships in our work, career, and vocation, uh, and sometimes romance cards pop up, and that happens too. So I think that's enough explanation. Let's get into the divination, both feet on the floor. If you can, focus on your breath, if you will. I promise you I will do my best to help anybody uh, fulfill their life purpose, work, career, and vocation-wise. I've been doing these readings for decades for clients, uh, because as one of us moves forward, all of us move forward, shifting to a more golden rather than leaded timeline, a happier, healthier, wealthier, wiser timeline in happier, healthier, wealthier, wiser ways for a happier, healthier, wealthier, wiser world. And there ain't nothing wrong with that, yeah? All right, that's the explanation. The shift from explanation to divination happens in the still point. Join me there if you will. <laughs> Please take a nice deep breath. Here we go. point. Pantheonic override. It's a place for everything and everything in its place. Put all where it belongs in time and space. For the well-being of all and with harm to none as we will it. So let it be done. Beloved Pantheons of the Divine, I need three Caroline Mace archetype cards to represent uh, the archetype to be alchemized from shadow to light, lead to gold, pain to peace, shifting from toxicity to health, fear to love and the spiritual alchemy. What's going on in the eighth chakra of our work? What's going on? Oh, I feel you. In the eighth chakra of our career. And what's going on in the eighth chakra of our vocation? Now, we're going to put the next two decks, the tarot, face down as well, and then we'll turn them over work, then career, and vocation in that order. Please take a nice deep breath. I love what I do. Still point. Goddesses override. A place for everything. And everything in its place. Put all where it belongs in time and space. For the well-being of all and with harm to none. As we will it. So let it be done. My beloved goddesses, please, three daughters of the moon, face down, heart their third eye crown dynamic for us, Virgo Collective, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs in our cross watchers, what's going on in our work, heart their third eye crown, what's going on in our career, what's going on in our vocation for this timeless work career vocation reading, three more and then we'll start flipping. Please take a nice deep breath. We're all in this together, breathe. Still point. God's override. <clears throat> A place for everything and everything in its place. But all where it belongs in time and space for the well being of all and with harm to none. As we will it, so let it be done. Hey, get over there, you. <laughs> My beloved gods, uh, what's going on outside in, inside out, lower three chakra dynamic relationships in the physical world for us Virgos, our cross watchers at work. What's going on lower three chakras in our career? What's going on in our lower three chakras in our vocation for this timeless work career vocation ring? Let's see. 
Ooh, 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 okay, all right. Well, we got the Liberator Archetype. Now, I liberate people on the regular, particularly once you hear what's written on the card. Down here is the Shadow Attribute. Up here is the Light Attribute. I call this lead, this gold, those three uh, archetypal atoms in between the three that cannot be created or destroyed, only released, transformed, changed, right? Alchemized, I prefer. So, the toxic, the shadow, the lead, imposing your own tyranny over those you claim to liberate. In other words, you're claiming to liberate them, but you're keeping them enslaved, uh, ignoring legitimate constraints. And I'm really big on, on watching that, right? The best example I have is someone's in recovery, drugs, alcohol, whatever, and they're at a party and like, come on, have a drink, right? Like, no, that, that's no good. What we're shooting for, and I love this, I've got this one pretty deep. Freeing yourself and others from outmoded beliefs, releasing negative thought patterns. Hello, that's what I do for a living, particularly as a spiritual counselor. And we've got Analysis, the Two of Blades, definitely a third eye card if we're going to assign a specific chakra to that. And Two of Blades, people will call it the Indecision card. I kind of can see it as analysis, as gathering information. We're Virgos. I analyze is actually the phrase for Virgo. And here we have two women fencing, right? With swords, right? Going back and forth, back and forth. And I've never fenced. I've never even had anything fenced, actually. Um, except a yard, maybe. Uh, then you're always thinking, okay, if my next move is this, and their next move would be that, then I will do that. So it's a gathering of information. Twos are always about choices. So that could be throat chakra as well, spit, swallow, or chew willpower. With the hanged man on the outer, when it's a major arcana card and a chakra read of this nature, it's usually, in this case, the lower three chakras as one. This is Prometheus bound. He stole fire from the gods. By the way, he was their uncle, right? So he's a titan, right? Uh, Prometheus stole fire. The gods didn't like it. The Olympians weren't into it. So... Uh, by the way, read The Last Hero by Terry Pratchett because it's worth it. Sort of a, sort of a continuation of the myth. Um, but this is about surrender and sacrifice, often uh, a point of view, right? Uh, when I think of the hangman, I often think of Odin on the world tree. Egrossel plucked out his eye, hung himself upside down on the world tree for nine days for the, to the Norns in exchange for the runes and other cash and bread as I like to say. So, you know, it's not always easy for us Virgos to surrender what we believe might be true. Now, I will also say you could be in a situation where a sacrifice is uh, being asked for, but, you know, the original meaning of the word sacrifice means to make sacred. So this could be liberating ourselves and or others uh, from, uh, what do they call them, sacred cows, right? Those things that really aren't true, but we want them to be true. I don't see a fantasy energy in this, but it might be that we just picked up some information that looks true, but that isn't truth. Truth doesn't change. There is just truth, whether we believe in it or not. We're all one. Boom, right? The sacred truth of the root chakra, anatomy of the spirit. So there might be a looking at things a little bit differently here and gathering information in order to liberate ourselves and others in the work. How we survive in the world. It's like the career. Well, I'm down with that. I'm down with that. I'm down with that. Okay, the hermit in the eighth chakra. Uh, the liberator is an action family archetype, I believe. Uh, the uh, hermit is a wisdom family archetype. There are nine different families. The lead... I feel so naked when I read this one. Uh, withdraws from society out of fear or negative judgments of others. Virgo power, cross your legs, leave me alone. Uh, refusing to help those in need, though, that I don't do. That I don't do. Like, I don't want to have to reincarnate just for that. Thank you very much. What we're shooting for, the gold. Seek solitude to focus intently on inner life. Serves personal creativity. Yeah, Virgos, we're known for hermits. Even the tarot card of the hermit is uh, associated with Virgo. And what we got going on on the inside is a court card, our first one so far. Uh, the Mother of Cups, the Cancerian card. This is Namu, an ocean goddess. Uh, this would be King of Cups, Cardinal Water. Now, I 
have no planets in Cancer, if you have any planets in Cancer, have a look and, and see what that's about. But I have it in my 12th house because I'm Leo rising, so this can be the unconscious uh, for me. But regardless of zodiacal placements, um, it is creative water, cardinal water, the mother of the zodiac. So think amniotic fluid, right? It keeps the baby until it's ready to be born, and we're born by water in that way. Uh, but with the four pentacles on, um, <laughs> on the outer, we might have our boundaries up, particularly if a sacrifice is being asked here. And it makes sense with the hermit in the eighth, that in the physical world, we may not be so verbose about it, talk a lot about it, we might not be sharing, we may not be letting people into our hearts so much, particularly if we are pregnant, literally, or uh, symbolically with a creative thing inside of us. Second level of power career is creative intuition, heart, third, third eye crown, dominant. Just like uh, work, first level of power is lower three chakra uh, dominant. So, you know, there, there might be a hanging out, a laying low, while we liberate ourselves mentally on the inside, while creatively we're allowing something to grow. Now, I will say, soft of eye and light of touch, speaky little listen much is probably a good idea. Thank you, Doreen Valiente, uh, the, the Wiccan Reed poetic version there. Um, but this is Daedalus, D-A-E-D-E-L-U-S, an engineer, an inventor, a genius, really. The sun didn't do too well with them wings, but, you know, don't fly too high uh, to the sun, although it made a good album cover. So, you know, we're going to do our thing, cross our legs, go into silence, whatever that is for our own creative process, and maybe protecting our heart a little bit as we do so. All right, our spiritual calling, the artist. Love it. Creative family archetype. You can have an archetype, a reason, a season, or a lifetime, or be dealing with someone who has it, a reason, a season, or a lifetime. The liberator comes and goes in seasons. The hermit comes for reasons, but the artist, I have Kronos. I have birth to death, womb to tomb, uh, lifelong. So, I gotta see what these are. Oh my, all major arcana. Okay, so I'm gonna say our leverage is probably in the vocation. So, see if this rings any bells for you in the shadow. Using talent as an excuse to mistreat others. You're gonna have to reincarnate. For that. No, no, that's why I don't do it. Uh, posing as the starv starving artist to elicit pity. Are you kidding? I do the exact opposite. I'm like, I'm fine. <laughs> Four pentacles. I'm fine. The light we're shooting for. Expressing a dimension of life that is just beyond the five senses. Inspiring others to see life symbolically, which absolutely would contribute to that liberator when we are ready to share that. But like the way I look at it is this world is a video game. It really is, right? We can't change the codes. We're already in the game, but we have free will. So that whole thing, is everything predestined or is there free will? It's both. Uh, we get to choose how we want to respond to what's going on in the game. Just like, but you know, you, you can't all of a sudden like hack the code. People think they can. They can't. Because <laughs> even when we think we're hacking it, we're following a... Uh, we're following the plan to the letter. We've got the lovers on the inner now. Is the lovers always about romance? Probably not in this case, considering what else is about to hit the table here. But I will say a life-changing decision. This is Aphrodite, sweet and flighty, hanging out without her C-390 with a friend. Uh, and this absolutely can be a life-changing decision. The difference between, for example, the choice of a two, like the two of blades, choices have consequences, but they're not life-changing. The decisions that you make with the lover's card is life-changing. So what is the inspiration that we're incarnating, right? This is third level of power. This is spiritual power, mystical power. So I consider myself a mystical artist. That is what I do. This is my mystical art form. My ultimate healing art form is spiritual counseling that's different power. Archetypes are all about power anyway. So a life-changing decision there, but when it's a major arcana, it's usually all, all of those chakras in alignment, working in unison. So this is good. Get your heart open, and the hermit would seem necessary to do that, right? With the tower, 
Poseidon, the earth shaker, as well as the god of the oceans, but he is the god of earthquakes. That's why the horse is often seen as his totem, because when horses are galloping, everything kind of shakes, right? Now, I'm not afraid of the tower card. Tower card can definitely be a card of enlightenment, particularly in your spiritual power. Light is truth. So lightening is truthening. It's getting hit. Perhaps a download, right? A download that then you get an upgrade out of, but it's our decision of how we want to bring that into the physical world. Now, our ability to see things symbolically is going to be in a big influence on that. In other words, you can see yourself as a hero or a villain. You can see yourself as a victim or a victor. You can see yourself as a creator or a slave to the divine, right? However you want to do that. But this creativity of the artist, a creative family archetype, certainly seems to require that hermit in our career to pull back, to tap into, oh, this is a good word, our creative juices. Very heart chakra vibe there, nurturing something within us and maybe not letting on about it uh, so much or at least uh, keeping our, our, our boundaries nice and set emotionally. I like it. Lord Ganesh, let's ask him. I've had a relationship with Ganesh since I started the company in 1998. I was working at Borders Books and Music in Bohemia before that, and I met the Ashaya monks, I-S-H-A-Y-A, if you can remember. Check it out, I think it's ashaya.org. Really, really wonderful. Let's ask him. Please take a nice deep breath. Ganesh override. A place for everything and everything in its place. Put all where it belongs in time and space for the well being of all and with harm to none as we will it. So let it be done. Beloved Lord Ganesh, what is your wise, loving, empowered oracle message to help us Virgos and our cross watchers alchemize our shadow to light, our lead to gold, our pain to peace, shifting from toxicity to health, from fear to love, removing those three atomic obstacles between lead and gold in this timeless work career vocation reading? Cultivation. This is about knowledge. This is about learning. Uh, and it is also about music, which I like. Oh, I got me some Spotify playlists. Woo! They get me through the day. Card number 37. Just going to read you from the bookie book. Listening to music can heal, encourage, and nurture your soul, which is what I do when I go into hermit mode. I'm sit in silence all day long. No, I'll put on a Go-Go's playlist or something. I have a playlist. If, if you know me, I'll send you the playlist. It's called Sweating Prayers, based on the work of uh, Gabrielle Roth, Sweating Your Prayers. Dancer, artist, work. Your spirituality is, is an essential part of who you are. It's the essence of who you are. It forms the framework of your world. Music resonates with the human spirit. At the heart of humanity is the song of the soul. Music has the power to unite communities, cultures, and civilization. Listening to music can heal, uh, hearten, and support your soul. I just listened to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to who I want you. I don't know if I need you, but who I'd die to find out running our today. It was good. Mm, big 90s flashback. Studies have found that musical tones communicate with and have an energetic impact on the cells and organs of the human body. It is believed that the cells vibrate and essentially have their own musical intonations. Listening to music can help heal and uplift your energy. You may find that by tuning into uh, uplifting or calming music, you create space for greater contemplation uh, and uh, in turn gain more clarity about what you are creating in your life, which speaks to that second level of power with the hermit. It can also bring about stronger connection to your higher self or to oneness, which might very well be going on here in vocation. Music cultivates community as sound fosters communication and greater unity, right? Co- unity, community. Uh, cultivation is a continual process that develops, encourages, and nurtures, right? Like even cultivating the creativity. This seems to be uniting all of these, although the liberation has to happen as well. 
there is a spiritual connection that forms between the music and the listener. Ganesh is inviting you to incorporate music into your life in a way that will augment your spiritual expansion. Listen to soothing music while you prepare for your day. Move away from the noise of excessive electronics and digital images and back into a more melodic uh, existence. Take time to sit and listen to music. Doing this can shift your energy to a clearer and more receptive state. And I'm always listening to some kind of thing on YouTube, so subliminal, you know, isochronic something or other going on, right? Work my chakras, past lives, Akashic Records, activation, library card activation. Digging it. I like this read for us. Let's get the last card down. Matt Con Healing Mantra to help you put it all together because ultimately this is about healing. Please take a nice deep breath. And as one of us heal, all of us heal a wee little bit. Still point. Ascended Master Override. A place for everything and everything in its place. Put all where it belongs in time and space for the well-being of all and with harm to none as we will it. So let it be done. Beloved Ascended Masters, what is the perfect healing mantra to help us Virgos and our cross watchers fulfill our life purpose by alchemizing the shadow to light, the lead to gold, the pain to peace, shifting us from toxicity to health, fear to love, from illusion to truth. In this work, career, vocation, reading, a liberator, a hermit, and an artist cultivating in this timeless read. Embracing worthiness. I feel worthiness filling every cell of my body. And it feels amazing. That's not a personal confession. It is what's written on the card. And I have gotten this mantra a lot. And I will tell you, it's not a once and done. It's the kind of thing that, you know, you pull back from the world. You go, I feel... Because even if you're not feeling it, it's allowing worthiness uh, to uh, flow through you. It's just a, a good idea, I would think. So, uh, I feel worthiness filling every cell of my body, and it feels amazing. It's very Thorgy Thor. Uh, when worthiness dawns, you know that life has a bigger plan in store. That might be the sacrifice that's necessary here, right? To see ourselves worthy in a new way. Uh, you are able to navigate the highs and lows of each moment, aware of a greater cosmic force in play. Hello, welcome to my world. Uh, worthiness grants you permission to honor all that you are and moves you in the direction that fulfills your deepest passions. And I will say, music and dance does that for me. I was trained as a dancer. I still dance a little bit every day. Even if it's just rocking out in the car to a Spotify playlist. Uh, this mantra is ideal for feeling more joy, working through creative blocks. There's that creativity again. And helping the body heal, and it absolutely does. But, you know, I tried it, it didn't work. Well, you know, we're Virgos. It's serving us so that we maybe can serve others in this situation. So, that being said, we're going to put this together in a blessimation. It's a combination of a blessing and a summation, and then we'll talk about cool stuff if you want to hang out for it. Last time, please take a nice deep breath. Well, not the last time ever, but for now, still point. And may we end as we began. Pantheonic over. As I call upon the collective pantheons of the divine, for us, the Virgo collective, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, and our cross watchers, may we be blessed with all that we need to heal, to grow, to learn, to evolve, to alchemize our shadow to light, our lead to gold, our pain to peace, shifting from toxicity to health, from fear to love, focusing on truth over illusion as we free ourselves and others from outmoded beliefs, releasing negative thought patterns that we have analyzed and thought about and found that there does need to be a sacrifice, a surrender of perhaps a certain uh, way of thinking associated with our work, because there's always a higher truth. So even when we think we've found it, there's always the next floor up. And may we be blessed with what we need in our career to 
to seek solitude to focus intently on inner life, serving our personal creativity as we can Syrian gestate inside with that cardinal creative water, but perhaps guarding our emotions as we go through the creative process, which is what most artists do, and so that we can embrace our vocation, expressing a dimension of life that is just beyond the five senses, inspiring ourselves and others to see life symbolically and making major life-changing decisions in terms of who we want to be in terms of our spiritual and mystical power in this world while lightning strikes and the tower takes down old belief systems and perhaps situations and relationships that no longer serve us because we have incarnated truth removing obstacles, receiving success and prosperity by cultivating our relationships with music and bringing ourselves into a more synchronistic vibe while we embrace worthiness because we can feel worthiness filling every cell of our body. And it does indeed feel amazing. So may we be blessed with all that we need to heal, to grow, to learn, to evolve, to be the best that we can be. Shifting from shadow to light, lead to gold, pain to peace, toxic to healthy, fear to love, illusion to truth. In our work, career, vocations, fulfilling our life purpose for happier, healthier, wealthier, wiser lives. In happier, healthier, wealthier, wiser ways. For a happier, healthier, wealthier, wiser world. For the well-being of all with harm to none. As we will it, so let it be done. So would it be. So it is. Beats reincarnating over and over again, huh? <laughs> if you like the reading, if you found it helpful, found a little piece of insight there, maybe the mantra or Ganesh like touched you a little bit, hit the thumbs up, helps other Virgos and cross watchers find the reading. You want more of me here on YouTube, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and hit the other thing in the notification bell, because that's a thing. And uh, comment if you like, because I do like uh, a nice comment section. I have never had a bad comment on one of my videos. I'm very happy, happy and grateful for that. But if you want the deeper dive, come Patreon or Patreon. Seriously, the link in the description box will show you all sorts of stuff. The store, our different levels of subscriber, Seeker, Human, Hero, Angel, Witch, Immortal, Mystic, God, Goddess. Uh, they all get different benefits, but all three of them get the daily check-ins, which I love. They are my passion, and <laughs> we have a lot of fun, and I'm pretty much in a bathroom every time I do it, first thing in the morning. Uh, they get all the extended readings, the part twos to the part ones, as well as a significant discount. Uh, when they book me for private sessions, we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but I have to say, as far as a mystical artist and a Virgo, Patreon has been extremely helpful uh, for helping me get my work out into the world where I don't have to compromise my integrity to do so. So remember, you can follow us for free. I love my free followers. I put out content specifically for them. I mean, the subscribers see it too. Uh, but that's just wonderful. I love that Patreon lets us do that, as well as you can seven-day free trial us as a seeker or a human three dollars five dollars respectively obviously you will be paying that if you jump out the last day but if you want all of the benefits available particularly uh, the the discount you need to stay for at least a month one would think and book me during that month and it would be hopeful and uh, yeah if you want to uh, more deeper dive you want a private session with me spiritual counseling I've been doing forever I used to be a minister I defrocked myself really smart move honestly talk about a sacrifice Ooh, big time it was a good thing though right <laughs> there is a video in the description box here on YouTube called uh, booking private sessions with now if it's a reading uh, you set it up with me we zoom record it as a conversation it's not just somebody recording a reading and sending it to you no we have the conversation so you don't have to take notes. Uh, I record it on my end, I send it to you, you download it to your device, you tell me you downloaded it and I deleted it because I'm real big on confidentiality that way. I took vows of confidentiality, thank you very, very much. My gods really keep me accurate on that one. Uh, and serving people in this way has really, really been wonderful. I'm even setting up an office downstairs in my new house to take clients here at the house eventually. It's still a while to go. It's freezing out there anyway. It's fine. Uh, but certainly the video will explain all that you need to know about booking a reading with me, including that I've never turned anybody away because of lack of finances. Where there's a witch, there's a way. I am a witch, so there is a way we can work it out. And I love doing the one-on-one -on -one readings with people. I've done tarot parties. I've worked weddings. I've done all of that stuff. I started 
reading Tara when I was 12 and 55. Yeah, I know, I don't look at that. Isn't it good to be a Virgo? Yeah, 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 it is. So I uh, click the link, watch the video. My mom loves it, and I love that vid too. And honestly, I love this reading for us. I mean, there's not a womp womp in here. Okay, all right. Well, baby, the hangman and the tower are things we must endure, but we also get to be really Virgo about this in our career, right? Soft divide, light to touch, speak, you little listen much, right? Pay attention and absolutely embrace your worthiness. Because how can we expect anybody else to embrace our worthiness uh, if, if we haven't ourselves, right? How the hell are you gonna love somebody like blah, 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 RuPaul? <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching, my beloved Virgos. I love each and every one of you, even if we've never met. So hang in there, Crosswatchers. I know we're not the easiest sign on planet Earth, but we got something cooking in that oven down there in that, that, that slow cooker that is our creative intuition. So keep an eye on us, but not too close, because we got four pentacles going on while we listen to the music and embrace our worthiness. Watch out, world. Here we come. I believe in us. We've got this. Hang in there. I love you. Heal. Hail. Farewell. And blessed, blessed be.